Hello everyone, this is Puka, and welcome to another game I played on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. This time, I'm going to be playing a game against a player named SlowpokeXXL. Uh, now, you might notice the title of the video. We will discover what that means as we get a little further into this. So I'm going to be using my Aspertia City Gym deck. This is from Bad Deck Monday, by the way, uh, where we focus on Regigigas EX. Giving it 200 hit points with uh, Spiritia City Gym, you know, it gives you plus 20 hit points. And uh, Eevee Light as well, so it effectively has 220 hit points. And uh, he's just a monster that is way too tough to take down for most decks. Unless you have fighting Pokemon. So we'll see what happens. Uh, just trying to see if Regigigas could work out. I still don't think it's one of the best Pokemon around, but uh, he was worth a shot. So uh, I decided to try him out on Bad Deck Monday. And it looks like we got a Plusle and a Minin on my opponent's field. Don't see that very often. Uh, it looks like he's got Water Energy too. So he's getting a Squirtle. I guess this is just for Tag Draw for Plusle. He just drew 8 cards. So alright, that makes some sense. Some good starter Pokemon. Uh, now I do have a Catcher. So I'm just going to Catcher out Squirtle. Turn 2, I can just dig a Power. Get an easy knockout on a Squirtle. And we'll go from there. I could have used Juniper there, but I have a double call list. I got a, a switch. I got another catcher in there. So I'm just going to hold on to that. Catchers are going to be really important for me in a matchup like this. Where I'd want to knock out Squirtles. Especially since I just got a free one there. Uh, so I'm going to hold on to this catcher for now. And we'll see what happens. So here comes a random receiver. My opponent gets another Skyla. So that's probably not what he wanted to see. Skyla is probably the worst thing you could ever see when you're trying to play a random receiver. Unless you're just searching for like a catcher or something like that. Normally when you play a random receiver though, you are going for a supporter that's going to draw cards. Or you try to look for an N to draw you some more cards. So Skyla is probably not what you're looking for. We can take a good look at the big Regigigas there. It kind of looks like the Hulk. Uh, he he kind of acts like it too, you know. When you get Regigigas angry, he smashes things with Raging Hammer. So you don't want to make Regigigas angry. Uh, you don't want to see him when he's angry. You can see he's kind of green too. Uh, it actually turns completely green when he gets angry enough. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wish it did that though. That would be awesome. So my opponent plays an Ultra Ball. Looks like he plays Skylar for that. I'm um, clicking frantically on his discard pile, but uh, won't let me see it. This appears to be a glitch that only happens for me. For some reason, I, I actually don't know why. Nobody else has this problem but me, where I can't click discard piles, apparently. Uh, if you have it, please let me know so I don't feel like I'm the only one. But clearly it, it happens for me, because we see it all the time. So now I get um, a spare TSC gym out here. You can see Garrett Regigigas has 200 hit points. Alright. Uh, this is looking good for me. I'm going to Ultra Ball... Discarding a Ho-Oh EX to put that in the discard pile so I can use Rebirth at some point. It's just my way of getting energy acceleration in this deck. I uh, captured out another Squirtle, so that's two Squirtles down on turn three. You can see the Tornadus EX also has 190 hit points, so these are some big buff EXs that my opponent's going to have to deal with here. Uh, I also have a Skyla in my hand, so if I need a catcher next turn, you know, if my opponent puts down another Squirtle, like that one, I can just Skyla for a catcher and then knock out a third Squirtle. And then he might not just he just might not get Blastoise out this game. That's a that's a possibility. Um, I mean most decks play three or four Squirtles. One could be prized. Uh, a lot of people just play three. So if they all get knocked out, then well, they all get knocked out. And then he's got no Blastoise unless he plays Super Rod, which he would have to draw into. Uh, so basically I'm just slowing down his strategy completely by knocking out all these Squirtles. Uh, he ran in receivers and gets a, uh, a Bianca, which he could not use because he had too many cards. So things are really going my way. And uh, we're going to catch out another Squirtle here. <laughs> so that's three catchers in a row. I c I'm going to bench another Regigigas EX here. Just going to take a look see what energy types are in my discard pile. I see there's no Psychic in there yet. So I'm going to wait to Juniper that away. So that I can get different types with Ho's Rebirth. And now, uh, I mean, I am up three prizes on the fourth turn. My opponent's just using Keldeo EX to do... Well, it's going to be 
90. Uh, actually, minus 20, so it'll be 70. And uh, yeah, that's not going to be enough. <laughs> the random receiver is placed four random receiver, apparently. You don't see that too often in a deck that doesn't run Sableye. Uh, we've seen all sorts of weird supporters with it, too. Getting like Silent, Skyla. Uh, these are things you do not want to get with random receiver, but he's seen all of them. Um, that's the reason why you don't play random receiver when you play stuff like Skyla and Silent, especially. You know, you're usually looking for draw cards. Might as well just play other supporters instead of random receiver at that point, I would think. But anyway, uh, yeah, this Keldeo, he's only manually attaching to it. So it's just every turn, you're just attaching one energy. Uh, and you're not going to be able to keep up with a Regigigas that's already powered up. Uh, if you're trying to do this. I mean, uh, it's... Let's see, actually it's 110. Uh, for Secret Sword, so we'll do 90 damage, and the next turn he can attach a uh, water, and then finish me off with the 110. This is 90 plus 110 will be 200 to knock out the Regigigas EX, but I'm gonna hit him with a uh, Raging Hammer in the process for like a big 130 damage, and then I'll just follow up with a different Pokemon, so I'm not really worried about this at all. I'm thinking Regigigas and get the job done here and my opponent's probably gonna be in some trouble just you can't manually attach to a Keldeo that takes three energy and beat a 200 hit point Pokemon or 190 hit point Pokemon it's just it the game doesn't work like that I guess um, unfortunately my potion is gone already otherwise I could have avoided the two hit knockout from secret sword but that's okay um, so I have an Ultra Ball, a Tool Scrapper, a Ho-Oh. Uh, I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Ho-Oh. Might as well just grab something and put it down on my board. Uh, something safe, probably like Sigilyph or Bufalant. Either one is pretty safe to get out here. So I'm just going to grab one of those to put down. Thin out my deck by a card. Um, and so here, here we go. My, my opponent says, where is the defense against Landorus? or eel decks or other popular metagame decks and well I mean obviously Tornado CX resists fighting right guys um, okay it was sweet to lightning but you don't usually see y you don't see Landris in electric decks so I'm confused um, so I'm like yeah there's plenty of stuff I mean and look at what I got out here I got Regigigas, Bufalon, Tornadus, Sigilyph Blah, blah, blah. All this stuff here. You know, I'm just trying to be friendly to my opponent. I understand uh, it's probably frustrating that things aren't going his way this game. And all that stuff. Uh, so I'm, you know, just kind of responding. But he, he keeps going. He's like, what's Tornadus going to do against Landers and Max Potion? <laughs> and he's like really pressing the issue here. So I say, you know, welcome to Bad Deck Monday. You know, this isn't meant to be... A competitive deck. This is just a Regigigas deck. And uh, right now Regigigas is going to town. That's all I got to say about that. So instead of doing... Um, or instead of attacking with Secret Sword and just attaching and knocking out Regigigas, my opponent decides to retreat and max potion and start building up that Keldeo once again. And uh, at this point, you know, I'm pretty sure I have the game one. I'm going to be able to, you know, just switch and actually just save the Regigigas. And uh, attach to another one. I'll just be able to blow through with Tornadus for 60, which should be fine. Uh, my opponent's going to Juniper away a whole mess of cards there. Um, drawing a fresh hand of 7. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident at this point, you know, just manually attaching. And he says, Behold my awesome catcherless hand. There's still none. I don't really know what that would have done. Uh, as you can see, I have a switch. Um, and he benches three full art Keldeos. So oh, here we go. Uh, and then just uses tag draw once again. So I, I'm just going to switch probably, save the Reg Gigas. Or I can just leave it up there, honestly, and just Giga Power for, for 60. Get the knockout. I uh, decide to attach to Bufalant, 
And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna leave Reggie Gigas up, because there's no threat of being knocked out, honestly. What's gonna knock me out? Um, I have, let's see, 90 damage on me. He needs to do, like, 130 to, to knock out Reggie Gigas, because it's got the 200 hit points and the Eevee Light. That's just not gonna happen. Uh, even a Mewtwo coming down would not do that. So I'm just gonna leave him up there. What's the big deal? I don't wanna waste a switch. You know, if he's gonna try to catch her and stall me, no point in playing the switch then. Uh, so we do see a catcher now. He's bringing out the other Regigigas. Uh oh. And uh, now, not sure exactly what his plan would be. He still only gets to manually attach. And uh, at this point, people in the chat were telling me to kind of like egg him on. So I was like, so how do you deal with Verizian? Uh, you're weak to grass, you know? <laughs> And then he says, Verizian can't get enough energy on it in time before it gets knocked out. Which is interesting to me. Um, because, I mean, the Leaf Wallop one, which only takes two energy, which can start attacking turn two. Uh, or even the, the Sacred Sword one would probably be on par with you and, you know, get a knockout. Uh, again, I'm just kind of joking with him. Um, he said it hasn't been a problem. <laughs> Uh, and now he's just going to attach to Keldeo. He's going to rush in with another one. I do have the fourth catcher in my hand. And then I say, this is the real needle. How do you deal with Regigigas? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to get a reaction out of him at this point because he's kind of just making fun of my deck, saying that I lose to Landorus, which is always a good way to get back at somebody when you're losing. Say, oh, your deck sucks. You should never win. Uh, so I just do Giga Power for 80, and he says, no problem if you didn't luck out with three catchers in three turns. Yep. That's the reason why uh, I'm ahead four prizes. Anyway, so my opponent plays the Energy Retrieval. And at this point, if he doesn't end me, I just kind of win next turn. Unless he has a Max Potion. Because uh, I'll have a Switch... And then I can catch her out this Keldeo that's probably going to the bench. And I can Raging Hammer for the win with my guy Reggie Gigas. Um, for those of you who don't know, our, our very own Ben Potter is, is nicknamed after Reggie Gigas EX, the Great White Hope, because of a silly deck he used last year at a state championship with Reggie Gigas and Reuniclus. <laughs> so, uh, the Great White Hope. He is doing his job right here. So at this point, I have decided not to engage my opponent in further conversation, because I'm just probably not going to say anything nice anymore. And if he can't say anything nice, you shouldn't say anything at all, right? So I don't. Uh, we just cut off the conversation there. Uh, it's always my favorite when people get angry when they lose and then tell you you are the one that sucks. So... Uh, I'm going to catch her out that Keldeo EX, switch to Regigigas, and then Raging Hammer and get a 6-0 victory with a single Regigigas EX with 200 hit points and an Eevee Light on it. Cannot take down this monster, folks. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned a lesson on, well, player etiquette <laughs> and what not to do when someone's recording your game. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have more videos soon. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you next time.